porn addiction has never been a battle. It never was a battle. You were just convinced that it's a battle. What's actually going on when you have the desire to use porn and you're deliberating back and forth? Should I use it? Should I not? Think of the costs of using porn. Think of what porn could give me. Pleasure, right? It feels like it's a battle between your animalistic brain and your human brain, right? That's what I used to think it was. It's not true. There's no battle. All that's happening is that you are deliberating in your own mind, meaning you are thinking back and forth, what should I do? It's no different to any other decision. When you think about going to university, you think, what subject should I do? Should I do engineering? Should I do science? Should I do philosophy? Should I do maths? Should I do computer science? Should I do economics? These were things that were going on in my mind when I was younger, and it took a lot of thinking back and forth, thinking back and forth. When you quit university, when you finish university, right, and you're like, what should I do with my life? These are decisions. The decision to use porn is no different. It's framed in the NoFap community as though it's a battle against an external force. You're the only one in here. You're the only one in here. It's not a battle between your limbic brain and your prefrontal cortex. It's not a battle between your, like, lizard brain and your human brain. It's all in your human brain. You're just thinking your decisions through based on what your beliefs are, based on the value that you see in certain actions. For me, I would have never chosen fashion as a university option. All of my options that I were considering in university were between the science subjects, because that's what I was good at. That's what I knew I wanted to do with my uh, career, like my university um, option. The question of whether I should do fashion never came into the picture. Similarly, and that's because I valued the science subjects more. The point I'm making is that with pornography, because you see value in it, because you see benefit in it, in certain moments you consider it to be a valuable option in a way. And therefore, it comes into your decision-making process when you think about what you should do next, especially in moments when you're stressed, when you need to go to bed, or whatever you see pornography as a solution for. Right now it's early in the morning. I'm considering making a coffee. I probably will make a coffee, right? The thing is, that's because I view coffee to be valuable now in the morning. In the evening, I don't view it to be valuable. It never crosses my mind. I'd never want to drink that in the evening. So I know it's just going to keep me up. When you no longer see... And that's because I don't see coffee as a viable option in the evening. Similarly, I never viewed doing a fashion degree as a viable option for university. Similarly, you can view internet porn as a non-viable option. Do you get it? You're not battling an external thing. You're deliberating in your mind of which option should I choose next. And you make that decision on, with regard to the value that you see in each option in your life. And the value of each option can vary depending on the time and depending on the place, depending on your mindset, right? As I said, when you're stressed, you might value porn to be even greater because you view porn to be a solution to your stress. You see, you value porn more when you're when you're stressed. If you believe porn helps you when you're stressed, there are beers in my fridge right now. They've been there for months, untouched. I've been really, really stressed in this place. Never have I considered popping open a beer because I don't value beer for its stress relieving properties because I don't believe it has any. It doesn't have any. Right, and never even thought never occurs to me. But when I'm at the pub, if I'm on a first date, if there's pressure, if there's like social pressure, sometimes I'm like, okay, I'll have one drink. I cave into it. If I'm on a first date, I feel rude. If she's drinking and I'm not, it feel it, that feels weird. It feels odd to me. So I just put up with it and I, I'll have one drink, right? And then the next drink, I'm like, I'm not gonna have another drink. You know, I don't really drink that much. At that point, the vibe is, the ice is broken, it's more cool, it's less, like, weird. Um, you see what I mean? I value alcohol in certain situations, but don't in others at all. Same thing's true with porn. You wouldn't value porn if you were out in public, on, like, a fucking in town or something. You just wouldn't. Everyone's going to see you watching porn. It just doesn't even occur to you, does it? 
because you don't value it in that moment. Whereas when you're in town, you might value, oh, should I pop into like the shop and get myself a drink or get myself a sandwich? If you're a bit peckish, right? You see how human decision making works? It's not a battle in your mind. You just value porn quite a lot. Over time, you've built up these beliefs and you value porn a lot. You think it's got magical stress relieving properties. You think it's got properties to give you insane amounts of pleasure. These are all things you've been convinced about by the NoFap community, which is why I bang on and I say, fuck NoFap. I really don't like the NoFap community. They've made it worse. You're not addicted. There's no battle. It's just a choice that needs to be made with regard to your beliefs. In order to therefore make the choice to not use porn, you need to debunk and devalue the beliefs that you see in porn. And then you need to increase the value of not using porn. Thereby making it such that you can then choose the decision to not use porn and be happy about it. Right? You also need to stop viewing yourself as addicted. This is also key. Because addiction is a false concept. When you believe that there's a battle, right? You create the fucking battle in your own mind. You're not battling anyone. It's just you in there. That's another thing to keep in mind. It's only you in here. Only. There's no battle. You make a decision based on your beliefs. Devalue porn. You can't just decide without devaluing the value of porn, right? You can't just think, I'm not going to watch porn and, and think that that's going to be a good long-term solution when inst- when you actually view porn to be a magic, magic, high-value thing to do. And you might be like, oh, porn's disgusting. I don't value it at all. It's fucking degenerate. Okay, on the back end, sure. After this porn session, sure. But what about before? What about on the front end when you th- when you think, fuck, I really want it? That's the value you need to debunk. And you don't do it by thinking about costs. You do it by thinking about what is it doing for me? Does it actually do that? That line of questioning is crucial. I'm going to make more vids about that. But I'm slowly, slowly building up my repertoire of debunking. And that's going to be my future kind of task but in the meantime please read the freedom model it's in the description it's free and it will completely change your life it's an incredible book read it it is goated and after you've read it get in contact with me on telegram and i will help you for free to debunk those beliefs but please read the freedom model beforehand because once you have all of that information once you're familiar with it then we can talk and it's going to be a lot easier if i have to just parrot the freedom model over and over again to you that's not fun for me, and it's just a complete waste of time. You could ju- you could just read the book, and get the info right there. It's free. I'm not not affiliated with them. There's not like there's no like scammery going on here. I really just want to help. I read this book myself, and it's fucking incredible. Please give it a read. That's it.